Benjamin Akolsky. A couple of skaters from Michigan next. Brooke Castile, who's 20 years of age from Gross Point Woods, and Benjamin Akolsky, who's 22 from Ann Arbor, and they are in third place. A bit of a surprise in the short program. They're less than three points off the lead. impressive element these two have is right here split triple twist lift watch the height that's the outstanding for an American team because the United States has not been up there with that move that was fabulous the height they had following it up throw triple Saka out again can you see the difference of timing here how sure it is chance to win. season but Brooke has been skating with torn ligaments in her right foot had to go to sectionals keep skating with those but look they are so in sync what they have going is they're relaxed the timing is good been the perfect scenario for teams like Castile and Okolsky to come in and steal a medal. This is what could get them one day to the world podium. What I see here is some speed and some good movement across the ice. If they can sustain this energy, that will be terrific. That lift, it's carrying nicely across the ice. Good speed, difficult exit.
be looking at the gold medalist. Peter, a great opportunity, and they took advantage of it. The teams that finished in second, third, and fourth last year no longer here, including the silver medalists, Hinsman and Parcham, they're retired. Orsher and Lukash, the bronze medalists, they're retired. So Inouye and Baldwin, the top team, back to try to win their third. Brooke Castile, Benjamin Opolsky may have just stopped them. We'll see. The reigning champs are still to come. One of the most difficult things with this judging system is to maintain speed, flow, and glide across the ice because there's so much interconnection with footwork and things like that. But these two have done so well to really impress me enough to say that they have the skating skills that it takes to manage the system and be very competitive on the world scene. And my favorite move, look, the height they get, really explosive, way up in the air, three complete rotations, and notice, no collision whatsoever. He manages that well. I'll tell you, Terry, that was one of the hardest moves I remember in skating, was trying to manage that. And this throw, triple sow cow. What they do so well is keep the timing. Notice how they were both together in sync. Very solid. Keeping everything moving. They have good synchronicity throughout this program. They're synchronized. The throw triple loop, she is just gutsy, hanging on, coming back from that incredible injury. You would think that would undermine her, but she's very determined. And the final lift at the end of the program, again, if you can keep that speed moving, maintain these tough positions, that's getting more toward what the Chinese have in terms of power and strength. And this can be competitive, very strong. So you think they got a chance? Yes, I do. 62.53, you know how much higher that is than what we've seen. 56.10 for the program components, the old autistic score. Hey, we looked at what was good, that's in that range, 118.63. Very solid performance. Again, I just go back to how solid they were, how trained, how powerful. They are on the road. Excellent. Look at that, about 20 points ahead of the rest of the pack right now. That's a pretty high number. Castile, Okolsky trying to win, trying to medal for the first time at the national championship.